This is a rundown of the caddy card for the Point Mina Challenge 2024, 54 holes in one day, Australia's toughest disc golf event. Hey guys, Ollie here, TD for the Point Mina Challenge. Just give me a little rundown through the um, OBs and the course changes, islands and Nando's. So I'm just on hole one. Uh, the new line's gone down, which is just slightly inside the old line. Um, to disregard the faded line, go with the new line, which will be flagged. The reason for that is the flag stick in the grass a little bit easier than the gravel when they go in. So that's no major change to what we normally play. The line just continues on up here. There's a bit of a kink in the line because that's where I had a jack jump on my ankle biting at me. So I had to do an emergency stop and a little swerve off to the side. So that's the reason for that. The line is as it is. All right, hole two. Looking at the um, new line, which is the island, it's basically if you're within those cluster of trees around the basket, you should be inside the island. If you're on the gravel road, you're outside the island. And the drop zone is right here, just to the left of the um, Red Town 3, which gives a bit of a tricky upshot to get back onto the island. So it's if you go OB off the T, drop zone, and then it's just OB rules after that. The line behind the basket goes about a metre onto the gravel road, onto the gravel path, just so it's not like two metres from the basket. Um, there's a ditch there which should catch your disc if you land within four or five metres. But if you go, if you're on the gravel, like well and tripped on the path, you're out. So there is a little ditch there to catch you. About five metres from the basket. Onto hole three. The only out of bounds is the gravel path that goes through the fairway. Well marked. If you're on the gravel, you're out of bounds. Okay, we're now at hole four. This is the tee pad uh, for the extended. This is the extended tee. So we marked out a grass tee pad and it's 160 metres up the hill. Straight over the top of the um, red tee. Fence is out of bounds. Fence is out of bounds. And up the right side of the um, fairway is the gravel road. The near edge of the gravel road is out of bounds. Okay, we're at the top of the hill, hole four. This is the OB line here. Fence connects to the OB line, which wraps around the outside of the basket. We're about 10 metres here. On the nearest edge of the gravel road, it's about five metres from the basket. So you have been warned. And it just follows the uh, gravel road down to infinity. If you're on the green at pole three, technically you're in bounds. That's hole four. Alrighty, hole five. Only one addition to this hole, and that is a Mando on that tree there. You must go to the left of it. It's pretty straightforward because it's only about 20 metres off the tee. It's only going to take into account people that would actually play the hyzer line across there. If you miss the Mando, the drop zone is the tee, because that's just a big tee. There's no designated drop zone. So I haven't filmed hole six because it's pretty straightforward. It's just the gravel path that cuts straight through the fairway. That's out of bounds. It's marked with paint. So if you're on the gravel, you're out. This is hole seven's new drop zone, about 40, 45 metres, just up on the path. Island stays the same. It's just been 
pre-lined. So all the bricks are painted white and the logs at the back have been tidied up a bit. But they're outside the OB line so you'd have to get very lucky for that again. Alright, this is just a closer look at the uh, island backstop, the logs along the edge of the back of the island behind the basket. They've just been tidied up a bit. Might give you some luck, might uh, not. 8, 9, 10 and 11 remain unchanged. 10 has a bitumen road, 11 has the Mando with the normal drop zone on the blue tee. Alright, uh, on a hole 12. So the idea with this island is it's going to be tighter on the right side. It's about 8 metres from the basket. 8 metres long. We've got 15 metres on the left side. And then the drop zone is about, uh, it's about 11 metres. So if you drop zone part, 11 metres downhill. So it's pretty straightforward. Get onto the island. And then if you miss the island, you do have a chance of saving the path. Um, if you get it over the ditch, the line which is right up to the ditch. So the idea is that you do want to push as close to this tree as possible, but you don't want to hit it. Alrighty, onto hole 13. New drop zone. Still playing off the short tee, the blue tee. If you miss the island, this is the drop zone. You're looking at about a 40, 45 meter upshot. The island is unchanged. So disregard that drop zone, not in play. All right, hole 14 on the black tee. The only change on this one, that tee is not in play anymore. Sorry, that uh, Mando is not in play anymore. We're now looking at this tree being a Mando. Where you can see the white arrow, so you must go to the right of that tree. Changes the hole slightly, so you've got a line going through there. You could try and flex something through there if you want to. Roll is still an option. And the drop zone is the red tee. So if you miss that Mando, you come back to the drop zone and you still have to go to the right of the Mando. Don't make that mistake, which I saw somebody else do. He'll go un unnamed. Hole 15, We're about 15 metres back from the red tee. We've got a Mando on the power pole as usual, and the drop zone is directly next to the power pole with where those little orange flags you can see. That ends up just playing about 15 metres longer, slightly different tee position. So while we watch fish throw on 15, uh, one thing that I'll add in is that the island on hole 12 does play as out of bounds. So there's a little out of bounds section on the fairway of hole 15 as you're going up the hill. So watch out on the right side. All right, we've got another cameo here from Atty. Um, this is hole 16. So the addition to this hole is there is now going to be a triple mando. So there will be a piece of rope with some flags across the uh, fairway, which means that you cannot go over the top. You need to go down the middle as Addy is doing right now. That's it for 16. Hole 17 is another one that remains unchanged. The only OB is the bitumen road through the middle. Thanks to Fish for demonstrating. And oh, watch that treat. Hole 18, as usual, double Mando off the tee. 
drop zone is marked where it normally is and the mando lines are next to the tree and the pole.